somewhere. And later, what in the world are we making out of a thousand pounds of cinder block? Fun and game. <laughs> Cute and cuddly. Steven and Chris, late night tonight on the Live Well Network. I am Greg Aiello, host of Motion on the Live Well Network. If you love spending time in the great outdoors like I do, then you're going to love a trip to Hangzhou, China. Hangzhou has so much natural beauty that you and your family will love exploring. One of the most impressive natural wonders in China is Tianmu Mountain, which is located just a short bus ride away from Hangzhou. This beautiful area is included in the International Network of Biosphere Reserves. Tianmu Mountain has the most anions of all of China, reaching 130,000 per cubic centimeter, resulting in some of the freshest air and sweetest drinking water that you have ever tasted. West Tianmu Mountain is world famous for its vast collection of giant Japanese cedar trees, often drawing comparisons to California's Sequoia National Forest. Hikers can immerse themselves in this awe-inspiring woodland environment where they may encounter one of hundreds of rare animal species who call Tianmu Mountain home. Make sure to include a trip to Tianmu Mountain on your Hangzhou vacation itinerary. Another one of the most famous must-see attractions is the beautiful West Lake, which is the centerpiece of Hangzhou. Your family can enjoy a relaxing boat ride on West Lake, where you can experience the scenic landscape surrounded by rolling hills as you pass by traditional tea houses and temples. Another marvel that you can see on a vacation to Hangzhou is the incredible Grand Canal. With over 1,300 years of history and stretching over 1,200 miles, the Grand Canal is the oldest and longest man-made canal in the world, connecting Hangzhou to Beijing. There is so much more to discover in Hangzhou, including the National Tea Museum, historic Meijiawu Village, known as the home of Longleaf Green Tea, and the Shishi Natural Wetland Park. Plan your family vacation today to experience living poetry in Hangzhou, China.